Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Believe in the Season blog hop with Simon Says Stamp. This is Laura Basson, and I'm so glad that you're joining me today. This is the project I'm going to be creating in this video using a few of the new release products. This is a fantastic Christmas holiday themed release. You're going to love it. Anyway, okay, let's dive right in. I have a piece of Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock, and I'm using some of my mini distressings. I picked out two of my faves for Christmas. Okay, so I've got candied apple and mustard seed. And I love the candied apple. It's like a pop festive red, almost like candy cane red. And then you've got the mustard seed, which gives it that warm glow, like a Christmas candle. To me, it's just got, I don't know, I just love the two together. And when they overlap, you get a bit of orange right there in the middle. Okie dokie. So now we're moving on to the die cut. I have this beautiful Peyton ornament. This is one of the new dies out of the Believe in the Season release. Really intricate and unique. It gives you this partial die cut look. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to die cut it into this piece of glitter cardstock. I had this piece of glitter cardstock in my stash for ages. And I'll show you when you clip it on the ends, the right side comes completely out. It pops right off and yet it stays intact. And then I'm going to take my little needle tool, right, my retractable needle tool and pop out all the little pieces. So you can see how unique this die cut is. Now I'm going to take a little bit of water and flick it on. Did I tell you this is distressed watercolor cardstock? So it really gives you that intense reaction, which I love these little flicks of water. You would get a chuckle if you knew how obsessive compulsive I am over the composition of my water flicks. I know a little secret, but it's all about attention to detail. You know what I mean? Sometimes I can get a little wacko. Uh, anyhow, so once I get the flicks, how I like it to be, I'm going to pop up my paint and ornament die cut there onto the left side. I'll trim off that excess and we're going to move on to the sentiment. I've got these Believe Word die cuts. Now these are gorgeous. You get the, the word and you get the outline. So I know this has got to be Christina Werner's handwriting. I know when I see it, it's absolutely beautiful font on the handwritten font on this. I die cut four of these out of Nina Solar White and I'm going to adhere these together. Back in the day, which I mean a few months ago. I used to do this with liquid adhesive like Tombow Mono, but ever since I started using my Elmer spray, I just can't go back. It's so much easier. And now I'm going to adhere the four to my black outline. Now I always try to find a clean spot on my box. I try. And then I'll adhere this to the black outline and it makes it really pop. So you got that dimension with the white and then you got the outline with the black. And you also get a little play time. Once you spray it, you can kind of slide it around here and there and get it right where you need it to be. And then I'll take just a little bit of glossy accents to put the dot on the eye. We've talked about this before. Do y'all remember what the dot on the eye is called? It's called the tittle. And the reason I tell you that is because I like to inform and educate and I also like to entertain. And I don't know what it is about tittle that makes me just want to laugh every time. I'm like a 10-year-old boy. Okay, so I've got the Believe stamp set. I'm going to stamp a little coordinating sentiment to go underneath my word die cut. And this all ties together. And I'm using my Misty because I've become completely codependent on getting that even pressure. Use my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And then I'll pop up the Believe. I'm going to arch it a little bit going up just because it gives you that bit of movement. I don't know, I just made that up. And then I'll pop the whole thing up onto a Nina Solar White card base. And we're just about finished, just for a little something something. I like to always do it. You, you know it, you guessed it. Some sparkling clear sequins, finish it off. So we got lots of sparkle, lots of shine, lots of flicking, lots of graphic. Oh, I love that sentiment. I love that Believe font. Christina Werner, you nailed it. You nailed it. Thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your blog hop. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.